Jordan Edel, the Director of Business Development with Alert Labs will deliver this demo. Jordan, over to you. Thank you for the introduction, Amy, and welcome everyone. Today, we're gonna to be covering a little bit on reducing R&M costs uh, with smart uh, watering management solutions. And again, I'm Jordan Edel with, uh, with Alert Labs. Uh, to give you a little background on the company, we are based in uh, Kitchener, Ontario, Canada and have been in uh, business for six years working with the commercial real estate market. Our team is ever growing of engineers and uh, team members to continue to develop uh, smart water management and leak uh, mitigation sensors to service the commercial real estate market. Our flow water management sensor is one of our main key uh, wa water management technologies. Uh, this device gives you minute by minute water data to understand what real time uh, water use looks like. So this will allow you to understand leaks and or normal and abnormal activity happening in a property. These systems uh, strap right onto a uh, standard city's utility water meter and begin to read that uh, meter right away. What's nice with these sensors is they're able to monitor your water use, uh, all ongoing leaks and abnormal activity, as well as power outages, uh, temperature alerts, and it is meant for any type of application in residential or commercial applications. As mentioned, the system will deploy itself very, very quickly. Uh, it's, uh, we like to call it a Fitbit for a water meter, it straps right around the head of the meter. It will begin to independently read the spins of that meter and relay that information back to the cloud in real time. All the devices are cellular connected, so there's no infrastructure upgrades uh, or technical expertise to deploy the system. It's very much plug and play out of the box. So there's no plumbers or electricians required to actually deploy the system. So through our dashboard, there's lots of benefits to reviewing this data. Uh, so you're able to see uh, all of your consumption, track it and trend it. The system has been built for the commercial real estate industry. So you can compare multiple properties in your portfolio, understand per suite or per square foot, uh, how much water is being used. And if there's any ongoing problems, you would be notified through either email, push notification or phone call. Uh, there's also lots of other analytics supported within the dashboard. So water usage patterns, uh, water runtime, as well as occupancy projections within the property's uh, usage patterns. Here's an example of a school uh, that was closed down due to COVID-19. And during that uh, time frame, there was one day after the uh, lockdown had taken place, they had a major flood occur. And because they had the system online, you can see the trending of a typical day and its activity versus the day it was then closed and then this leak occurring. So they were notified immediately. So then they were able to plan, uh, create an action plan to get the issue resolved uh, and go find the problem before it either cost them uh, large with uh, destruction of uh, the site as well as having a large water bill coming in. Another example is a community uh, pool uh, that found uh, water left running at the site. This was running at 150 gallons an hour and was ongoing for multiple hours. Immediately this was picked up because their site was used to having no activity during that time frame. So a notification was again immediately sent out so there can be action taken to get the issue resolved. Having this type of information come to your, your staff and your team is very much very important to take a proactive approach with managing your water use versus taking that reactive approach when we do get a water bill or having somebody have their eyes on a problem. Especially with the world we're living in today, having technology answer these concerns and having the peace of mind of what's happening at the sites is very important because we can't be everywhere all at once. So the system itself is meant to handle entire portfolios and is very customizable. The system downloads the information to the cloud immediately and then can be accessed either through a dashboard on your phone or um, laptop. And you can put as many sensors and as many properties on the dashboard um, as you see fit. So it's all cell connected. There's fully battery backed up. So even during storms and power loss, the system will still be operational. And again, we're not, we're not reliant on any existing building infrastructure. So there's no Wi-Fi pairing or anything like that. So we're compatible with any type of building. So this is everything from shopping malls to multi-residential um, to commercial real estate, industrial parks. Uh, we have yeah, in pit meters, we have inside internal uh, 
monitors as well. So there's lots of different applications that we can cover with the technology. And again, some of the highlighting uh, pieces of data that we look for is high water usage, leaks, power outages, temperature, and humidity. Another example of a college that had a massive uh, return uh, once they put the deploy the technology is within a month, they were able to identify $100,000 in excess water use at their college. Uh, it was related to their cooling tower as well as their uh, green roof system that had an irrigation leak that was constantly going to an area drain that no one was aware of. This is another example of another very large amount of savings at one asset. This was a multi-residential building of about 350 units. Uh, this property had multiple leaking toilets, uh, as well as some uh, trap seal primers that were automatically running and non-stop. So with a few different repairs and having visibility to their water use, they were able to save again another $100,000. Now on the other side of flood mitigation, we also have flood puck sensors, which can be deployed anywhere. Again, these are remote sensors that do not require any hard wiring or um, hooking up to electricity. So they're bat fully battery operated and they communicate through a LoRa point-to-point -point communication protocol. So these are able to talk through building materials up to almost a thousand feet in range. So these will allow you to check for floods as well as temperature. So you can set custom thresholds for temperature reading. So if you have an area that is concerned of flooding or potential um, increase in, uh, in heat, maybe server rooms or anything like that, this would protect you from those temperature ranges as well as any type of physical water event uh, where water is present, it will notify you immediately. So again, these are very quick installation. These uh, devices themselves will uh, no Wi-Fi whatsoever. Install in seconds, it's plug and play. You pull the tabs, they begin talking back to those main sensors. And again, there's no expertise required. These can be placed anywhere with, within a building's infrastructure. And as long as we have the sensors to be able to pick up the communication and get it to the cloud, the install can literally be done in about 20 to 30 minutes uh, through a decent sized uh, facility. Some of the locations we see these put in is any type of laundry facility, high usage, high risk mechanical areas. So they give you instant flood alerts. They give you an audible flood alarm and give you those temperature alerts as well, which again, you can set those custom thresholds as per your building's needs. This is what a flood alert looks like. It'll give you a start time and an end time. So within your organization, you can have uh, different operations team members have access to this data. So they understand that the event has started as well as the event has been repaired or stopped and uh, that will give them that peace of mind that someone has uh, taken care of it. And again, this is part of a full solution package. So you can really create that customized approach. So you can put flood pucks on multiple different floors or in different areas of a property. Uh, you can put, we have automatic shutoff valves. Uh, we have these flow monitoring sensors. You can really create a customized solution for your property. This is a, an example of a multi-residential property that had uh, a leak on a hot water tank and they had hot water tanks in their units. Uh, and they, they estimated this savings to be $10,000 in savings because they had one just recently before the system was deployed, had a hot water tank burst and it cost them over $10,000 to repair. So in this instance, they were notified immediately. They got to the unit, shut the water off to the hot water tank and were able to make the repair and contain the water within that area of the closet where the hot water tank was located. And the last one is a condo uh, property that has unit protection in every unit. They were notified to a leak in a laundry closet at 5 a.m., went up to a unit, knocked on the door. The tenant said that there was no water in the unit. They asked to check the laundry closet and sure enough, the hose had let go on the hot side of their laundry machine. So again, they had a leak previously in that year, a very similar issue that had cost them well over $100,000 in repairs because it had gone through multiple floors. And in this instance, again, they contained it within that unit. Uh, having that leak occur. So now we'll open it up to any questions and we'll try to get to everybody as we go. Again, thank you very much for your time and all my contact information is here if anybody has any further questions uh, after the event as well. Wonderful, thank you, Jordan. We do have a few questions. Just a reminder to the audience, you can uh, navigate down to the bottom of the screen and open the Q&A panel and type in your questions for Jordan. Um, Jordan, our first question is, how large a facility can water management handle? One to two buildings or 20 buildings? 
Uh, you can have an unlimited amount. So we work with large REITs as well. So we have upwards of 500 buildings, um, 600 buildings in some instances, uh, all on the dashboard. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's pretty much limitless. It just depends on how many meters are out of property. We can set everything up and, and customize the, uh, the tools. Perfect. Are there cellular bandwidth issues such as remote or hard to reach locations in the areas like that typically get bad cell service? Yeah, so we've had this concern lots of different times. So we work with uh, a company that carries all the different cell services. So it doesn't matter if it's Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T in the US market, uh, you're able to gain uh, cell service with it. whichever is the signal is strongest we will link to um, but in this in the scenario where you do have poor cell service there are a few different uh, ways for us to uh, try to boost signal and uh, maintain strength as long as we can at least get a bar of service uh, the system will be operational so jordan can you talk a little bit with that cell service um, is that like a monthly fee then you pay for the sensors yeah, so there, there is a, mo a monthly monitoring portion of the technology. Um, so that will be built, uh, built out based on the solutions that are deployed at the uh, at each individual property. Um, so it can either be set up monthly or as an annual uh, as an annual cost model. Perfect. Uh, do floodies sense water in general? Uh, sorry, Christine. Let me. Is there a certain volume of water needed to set it off the sensors or is it any amount of water? Yeah, so it's not, it doesn't have to be a flood. It can be anything from a few drips from underneath the sink on a P-trap. If there is water present and it's near the sensor, it's going to be able to pick it up. Great. And does the system work with Z-bands or regular Wi-Fi or is it just cellular? No, we do. We base it on cellular, and the and the reason for this is to be commercially robust enough for insurance companies to endorse uh, the system. We have partnered with multiple insurance firms uh, to receive discounts on deductibles as well as premiums. Uh, it's very important for them to have a, a system that, if there's a power loss or storm, you would lose your Wi-Fi signal immediately. So that's where the cellular base seems to be more of the fit. So we've we've gone this direction because of the. Uh, the insurance space, but also to make sure that the system is online when you most need it. Great. Jordan, can you talk a little bit about the notifications and how how is that customizable to uh, send out those notifications? Yeah, so the notifications are completely customizable. So you can receive them at different times. If So if you're only responsible for an asset between nine and five, or during the night or not on weekends, you can customize when you receive those alerts, as well as you can customize how you receive them. So you can get push notifications from the app, you can get emails, phone calls, or text messages. Great. Uh, another question is how long do the batteries in the unit last or how are the units powered? So the typical life cycle is about two to three years on the battery life. Uh, this is all monitored on the dashboard and you would receive alert as it gets to about 20%. Uh, that you need to go and change those batteries. They just take standard AA or uh, D cell batteries. Uh, so something that you can pick up uh, anywhere conveniently. Perfect. Um, and then one more question. Do you have other communication options that we can link to third party alerts to? Yeah, so we have a resting API that's attached to our dashboard. This is a part of a bigger conversation, uh, but we have the capabilities to talk to other single panes of glass. So if you have BM, uh, BMS systems or uh, BAS systems that are installed, then you're going to be able to integrate our system into theirs potentially, or have uh, us work with their team in different options as well. But that is a, po that is a possibility. Wonderful. Um, can you, so we have another question. Can you, can you notify multiple people uh, if you have a large facility? Yes, there's no limitation to logins with our software. So there is a hierarchy created. So you have all of the assets under one uh, typical login and then you share individual access with whoever needs access to it. So if it's a C-level person that wants to see the entire portfolio, you can do that. As well as if you had site staff that you wanna have individual properties shared with them, you can share that down to them as well. And you can, um, set different parameters for access. So they can just have viewing access or editing access as well, depending on what your needs are at your organization. Perfect. And do you show sensors on a floor plan? Uh, yeah, we can work with you to create a floor plan uh, layout of sensors, absolutely. That's something we would need your schematics and then we can work with you to deploy the sensors. Perfect. 
we'll just give it another minute to see if anyone else has any questions. Any other final questions for Jordan? Okay, Jordan, anything else you'd like to, any final thoughts you'd like to leave with the audience? Uh, nope, thank you everybody for attending. And if anybody has any questions, my email is uh, here and our website as well. So please reach out if uh, anybody has any further questions or would like to discuss uh, deployment at one of their assets.